let's talk a little bit more like event, like B2B corporate event execution, like checklist. Like let's say you're an event marketer, you know, you're working for whomever and you're going to run user conference, summit, a customer event, whatever you want to call it. What are like key elements, key things mm -hmm. that you're focusing on? that you think contribute to what my belief is, is that a, a memorable event is always a winner, right? So like, what are key elements that are contributing to that, that you're focused on? That's a great question. So we follow our, we have an impact process here at our agency that we follow. It starts with I for impact and it stands for innovate. I think the a lot of time people get very stagnant in terms of the events they do, you know, because they're like, I was told to do this. We do this every year. Did right? what so we did last really... year. Yep. Yes, yep. exactly. Yep. That's what to repeat, you know, but really like, how can we continue to innovate? What are some wow factors, right? There's so many new innovation every year that comes out. How can we incorporate that? Are there any surprise and delight? I think we talked a little bit about that a little bit earlier too. I think like, we love incorporating surprise and delight. Right. Yes. So that's like the first step to mission M for mission. And that's what we also met, touch upon a little bit, like the why. Why are you doing this event? What are the goals? What are the KPIs? And don't set too many KPIs because then it becomes unachievable. Have a focus. I would usually say three is the magic number. And then ultimately, you want to make sure this event has a purpose, right? So that's why the mission is so important. And I feel like this is the one step that a lot of people skip because they just want to hurry and do it and get it over with and done, right? And then they're like, why is my event not successful? And then we talk about the mission. They're like, oh, we, we didn't even talk about that. Nobody even asked me that. You're the first agency that asked us that. We're like, well, great. This is why our yeah. events will be a lot better. Yeah. Next step is P, stands for planning which of course is the biggest piece that has like the prep, all the meetings, working with, you know, whether it's choosing a venue to the vendors that you incorporate is, and then we, it's very important. Like a venue is such a big element in terms of the event because it can really set the tone, right? We recently did an event and literally it was for a bank and we found a super old museum that used to be um, the, distributor of money which is also a bank so that it, like we tie in through the whole history and we could talk about that so it's very intentional so that's the p and then a for attendee experience and this is my absolute favorite really going through what is the attendee journey right and yep. then mapping that out with your team like from the moment that i received the invitation to the communication to getting to the valet what were i experienced to not even entering the event yet, right? So yeah. that whole journey, what is the experience that I can expect? I love that one, by the way. I like not to break this up, but like I love yeah. the attendee journey, putting yourself in their shoes, right? It's like, I mean, we have a similar process for trade show booths specifically with our customers. And one of the questions we always ask is like, I am your ICP. I am your ideal client profile. You, you know, like I come walking up, what happens? What's my experience? What happens the minute I walk up to registration or I walk up to a demo stand or I walk up to something you have rigged that's engaged me? What next? What, you know, and getting someone to think through that entire process and what that could look like for somebody, I think is such a pivotal thing that people don't do. So keep going. You have... For impact, yeah. you have innovate, yeah. mission, planning, attendee experience. I screwed you up. Sorry, but just- let's No worries. Not. And I was going to uh, add to it, like make it fun. I feel like, Matt, you and I are really fun. So I think that's why I always try to encourage something fun, you know? And come on, a tree show especially is so much information. Like make it a little bit fun. And you know what? Yeah. I went to a huge tree show one year and the station that was the most popular- and keep in mind the demographic was what 60s male. Yeah. So the station, the boot that was the most popular was actually a station that was doing golf putting and giving away. I was away gonna prizes. say golf simulator, and then I didn't want to say it because I didn't want to be like, you know, making uh making stereotypes. But yeah, I was gonna I was gonna do it. You said golf yeah. putting, same thing. And I'm thinking, wow, it must be brilliant activation. And literally mm -hmm. it was not. I mean, not that it was it was brilliant the fact that they know who the know your demographic is. 
Yeah, you, you know? know. So that's that's yep. attending experience. Yeah. And then we talk about demographic. That's super important because it does have a huge differentiator between Gen Z, millennials. Oh, yeah. Sure baby does. boomers. You really got to yep. look at that. And then C for the next step of the improv process is communication. A lot of times people do these amazing events. Well, guess what? They they almost like hold in like a secret. And we always say, well, why don't you do some sneak peek or share a little bit? Don't share everything. But if you have a huge speaker coming in or something amazing that's going to happen at the trade show or fun things that's happening at the trade show, please share. I mean, that's more reason for people to attend. You got to communicate that, right? And the communication is so crucial because I've been to events where literally I arrive and then it's like, where's the parking? You don't is know what's going on. It's parking, is the valet park. Yeah, and there's no staff, no sign. It's like, did I get yep. the event day wrong? Yeah, the confusion leads to frustration at times, which then leads to not a good experience, yeah. Exactly, and that's part of the experience, the communication. So really making sure you communicate to not only their attendees, but also internal team, what to expect. Yeah. And last but not least is for T for the turnkey and the, the team, right? Making sure everybody is on the same page so that we can execute together. Events are not a silo project. And then that team really is not only your own team, but also any stakeholders and vendors so that everybody is on the same page. And that's the improv process. No, that's good. No, I think it's a great breakdown. And I think that's something that people could take on their own and utilize, right? Like with yes. Innovate, it's just literally the idea of like, don't do what you did last year because you stopped telling me you think it worked, right? Like, great. People want new the next year and something you think worked might have sucked and you should change it, right? So the Innovate, just the idea is good. Mission, great. I love this. The why. Tell me why. Give me the purpose. Tell me what's the meaning behind all of this. You, you know, that'll roll you into goals and things that really matter. The planning piece, obvious and a good one. Attendee experience, right? I interrupted you on that one. I love it. Communication. I think this one is funny because you're right. You can just get lost in not knowing that something was happening or something went on. Like, like you have an offsite activation, like a fun speakeasy thing that you did, but no one knew. So what does it do for you? And then last, the team. I think being on the same page, I think this is a good one, right? Because it is internal communication, whether it's buy-in from stakeholders or whether it's being aligned with sales, go-to-market, marketing, events, all the different departments in these big companies. How do they all know what's going on and the vibe, the theme, the the goals, the objectives, can everybody be aligned as to why this event is happening and what we're trying to accomplish at a minimum. If you have everybody aligned on those things, everybody's behavior will be more in step, I guess, if that makes sense. Yes, for I sure. I like impact. It's a good, I, I like that a lot. It's a good rundown. Thank you. Yeah. 